I didn't, did my first job when I was 10 years old. I played in, in Sound of Music and I met this woman called Ulla Sallet, who, is, who was um, one of Sweden's biggest musical stars. And, and she, she told me all these stories about Broadway and, the, and the, this beautiful city on the other side of the Atlantic. And I just thought, if that woman can do it, I can do it too. And a lot of people said to me when I worked with Bjorn and Benny uh, from ABBA, they said, you know, it's impossible, you're never going to get it there. You know, it's hard for a Swedish person to make it in Broadway. So I remember when Cameron called me and said, could, could you consider to go, go to Broadway? I remember emailing <laughs> Bjorn and Benny and said, I did it. And I remember coming in on the boat in the beginning, but looking up in the sky and saying, Mom and Dad, I made it. I was so touched by the story. It's instead of playing the monster, I wanted to play the abused child. And I want to make him a, a human. Doing the makeup and sitting in the chair and step by step, you know, when pieces come to place. And I'm listening to the speakers in my dressing room. Just listen to the show, how they speak about me, pretending I'm there, watching them from above. That's when it happens inside of me. I, I was supposed to be off for a year because I, I, need to, I, I need, needed a break. I just wanted to be with my kids. But I got this text really late, like saying, Hal and, Hal and Andrew really would love you to do the 30th anniversary. And how can you say no to that? Imagine 30 years old and it still feels fresh. <laughs> I definitely think it will run for another 30 year, years, uh, especially now when they take care of it so well. People love the show. Playing it, you just realize how well written it is. We all carry a mask in some way, and so we can understand it. It's a beautiful journey to do it every night. And I think that's why it's possible to do it eight shows a week.